Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Short Play, a series of quick tours of games I like on a variety of platforms, new and old. Today's game is Fractalus, which is a fan remake of LucasArts classic Rescue on Fractalus, which was originally released for Atari 8-bit computers in 1985. And Rescue on Fractalus is one of my favourite games of all time, and not to mention one of the most technically impressive games on the Atari 8-bit, so I was pretty intrigued by the news that a full remake is now available. As I record this, the remake has just reached its full version 1.0 release after 10 years in development. It started development back in 2010, so it's clearly been a labour of love for its author Luke Arnold, and it actually featured development input from several of the original developers of Rescue on Fractalus to ensure as authentic a feel as possible. So will the game still have that magic if presented with modern tech? Let's find out. Let's go play Fractalus. Okay, here we are with Fractalus, um, which uh, I just happened to see on Twitter the other day. I think it was uh, Jazz Rignall posted about it. Um, and I thought, Rescue and Fractalus remake, there is no way that I'm not checking that out. So here we are. We begin with a nice 3D recreation of the intro sequence from the original Atari AB version. Complete with the original music. And your mothership's rather strange rotating structure. Now the concept of this game, if you've never come across it before, um, is that you are the pilot of a Valkyrie space fighter that has been converted for uh, a rescue mission on the planet Fractalus. There are a bunch of pilots who have been downed on planet Fractalus and you need to go and rescue them. So I'm just going to confirm the controls first of all. Uh, throttle up right trigger, throttle down left trigger, fire A, systems B, airlock Y, X. Okay, that's all we need. So the original rescue on Fractalus uh, used a combination of joystick and keyboard controls because on the Atari 8-bit um, you only had a single button on your joystick. Whereas now we have game pads with lots of buttons and joysticks with lots of buttons. Uh, you can do everything from the um, controller, which is nice. So, let us start a new game. And let's begin from level one. <coughs> and so here we go. We launch. And already we've got actually quite an authentic recreation of the original Rescue on Fractalus here, because th this is how the planet sequence, how the uh, planetary descent sequence ran. But the main difference is the way it looks. Now the thing that's kind of remarkable about this game is the way it looks now is how the sort of mock-up image on the front cover of the original Atari 8-bit cartridge looked. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's like... Back when that originally came out, there's no way I would have thought, oh, one day, one day I'll be playing something that looks just like that. But now, well, here we are. So your job in this game is to look for the pilots, which are indicated by the flashing green beacons, and you can also see them on the radar over on the right-hand side. So you need to land fairly close to them. Oh no! <laughs> and not press that button! Oh god, what have I done? Oh dear. Alright, well, we'll just pretend that never happened. Let's go off and find another one. There's another one. Right, so it's not A to land. Uh, is it X? It is X. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Right, then you shut your systems down with B. And when you do that, the pilot will come running. Bang on your airlock, which you open with Y. Let him in. Then turn your systems back on. And take off. 
and you'll see down in the bottom right corner, uh, it says P1 of 2. So in order to pass this level, we need to rescue two pilots. You see there's actually there's actually no enemies um, causing us grief on this level. They don't show up until a few levels later, so this one should be pretty straightforward to deal with. I can't actually see where that one is. Where is he? Well, if we land close enough, hopefully you should come running anyway. There he is. He was over the hill there. So, the remarkable thing about the original Rescue on Fractalus is um, that it was running on an 8-bit platform and it had fractal-generated landscapes um, in 3D. So it wasn't wasn't polygonal, it was fractal-based. Um, and I guess that's what they've done here as well. So obviously this is proper polygonal 3D now, but... I guess the terrain is generated with fractals once again. Right, once you've rescued all the pilots, you can then hit the select button and return to the mothership. And there we go, that is the basic structure of Rescue on Fractalus. So you then head up to the next level, and take off and do it all again. Except a little bit harder, so we've got to rescue three pilots this time. See one over there. <coughs> this is very true to the original so far. I'm uh, very impressed. And when when you consider this has been in development for ten years. Um, and featured involvement from several of the people who worked on the original Rescue and Fractalist. It, it's, it's not surprising, really. Alright, there was another one over here, I think, wasn't there? Yes. Judging by the scanner. Yeah, I'm, I'm just amazed by how well they've managed to make it look like that old box art. Because the, the original game, in all its low-res Atari 8-bit glory, was was already quite a nice approximation of the uh, the image on the on the front cover of the packaging. But this is practically what what you saw <laughs> all right next please so you don't have to rescue all the pilots um but i actually don't know if you clear the level if you don't rescue them all but you certainly have to try and get as many as you can But yeah, once you get that mothership message, you are free to um, take off and go and dock with the mothership again. But we can probably get an extra one since this guy's right here. Somewhere. Other side of the mountain, maybe. I'll just land on this cliff face. It was always like this. 
Pilot too far. What is this nonsense? Are you saying he can't climb vertical cliff faces? Yeah, I got you. I like the, the lighting and weather effects in this. That's a really nice sort of extra touch. So the whole concept of Fractalus is that it was an incredibly inhospitable environment. And the reason you have to rescue these people so urgently um, is because the, the atmosphere is so corrosive. And they've really sort of capture that nicely with the use of colour and the fogging and the um, the cloud effects. But yeah, this is really authentic so far. Right down to... Um, You'll notice there's this really high-pitched whistling sound in the background. Now, while that may well hurt your ears, that is exactly how the old game sounded. And Rescue and Fractus just wouldn't be the same without the whistly engines of the ship. That was a really iconic part of that game's sound design. Oh, I think we, we've got enemies. There we are. Yeah, so we're starting to see enemies now. You can probably just see those white dots on those on the hills ahead. So now you need to deal with them at the same time as looking for the pilots. In fact, the if you look on the display screen in the middle, what you're seeing there is basically a blue tinted version of what you would have seen on the main screen of the Atari AB version. That's a really nice touch, actually. Running up at about that frame rate. That's a really nice touch, actually. Here he comes. I just, just, just everything about this is such a, such a perfect, modern recreation of Rescue and Frankless. I'm, I'm blown away by this. It's just such a, such a loving recreation of it. Like all the sounds are perfect. They're brought up to date and more realistic, but they're the same sounds. Like there's the same number of footsteps when the pilot comes in they bang on the airlock the same number of times there's the same sort of bleepy bloopy noise as your ship's computer makes yeah they've, they've done an absolutely masterful job with this I'm very happy And this is free. I would have paid money for this. So I hope that after all the hard work and the contributions from people behind the original that, that this sees some sort of success. At the very least, some acknowledgement of what a what a wonderful project it is, and what a loving recreation of an all-time classic game it is. And it works really well. Runs beautifully smoothly. Looks nice. I 
And I believe, I haven't tried it because I, I don't have access to the hardware required, but I believe there's a VR version as well. Which, I'm not going to lie, is enough reason for me to consider getting VR for my PC. Oh, it's dark. Because I, I can just imagine this game being incredible in 3D, in uh, VR rather. Yeah, it's a shame you can't use the right stick to look around the cockpit, that, that would have been nice, but... I'm certainly happy with what we've got here. Alright, let's get off this hellhole. Nice. Oh, bonuses for enemies as well. So that, that's why it's worth seeking out some of the enemies, because you get extra points for them as well. Onward, brave Valkyrie! Yeah, those sources are nasty. I say, sort of kamikaze right for your face. But thankfully, I think we were too low down in the valley for that to be something to worry about. But we are going to have to watch out for them. Oh, ow. We are going to have to watch out for them on this mission, I guess. I like that it also still seems to be built on the fundamental logic of the Atari 8-bit version as well, so things like if you successfully avoid a saucer, um, then it, it's just gone. When, once it's off-screen, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> that prevents you getting bogged down in sort of dogfights and that sort of things and keeps the kind of arcade style feel to what's going on. So, sir. Generally best to avoid them, I think, but if you can actually destroy them, then there's probably some nice points to be had. Now, one thing I don't remember is what out 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 is what level you start seeing the alien pilots. Um, because in the original Rescue on Fractus, those were the most terrifying thing I had ever seen. <laughs> they are one of the first ever jump scares I saw in video games. And the fact I can't remember what level they first show up on worries me a little bit. <laughs> I 
But you can actually tell when um, an approaching pilot is actually an alien because they have a, uh, a green helmet instead of the standard white one. You can also watch out for pilots with uh, purple helmets as well, if you'll pardon the expression. Uh, because those are ace pilots and they're worth more points. Alright, let's go blow up these turrets and then we can head off. The nice thing about this being built on a modern engine is that you can... You can shoot things that are much further away. <laughs> Ooh, ow. Not sure offhand where you can see how much damage. Oh, it's the it's the E gauge. Over on the right, that's your, your sort of shield strength. That gets topped up slightly between levels, I think. Or topped up fully, perhaps. Not sure. Anyway, level five. Yeah, this, this just handles really nice as well. The controls are really nice. Not trying to be too complicated, but it still has that nice sort of flight sim-esque feel that the original had. Yeah, at, th at this point I'm starting to get slightly paranoid about the... Um, the aliens, so I'm going to wait for the pilots to knock before I let them in. Because if you let an alien into your ship, then uh, you have real problems. <laughs> Ow! Ow. Didn't actually take that much energy off, that's alright. Oh, you get a little bit of energy back for every pilot you rescue as well. Okay, so that's worth remembering. Oh, pilots! There you are. Ooh, two of them. over here. Nice shot, sir. No aliens yet. 
I'm still paranoid. Still very paranoid. Alright, we good here. Yeah, I'm super impressed with this. This is so good. Like, really good. I've seen fan remakes of stuff before, but I don't think I've ever seen one quite as good as this. Something that's quite so true to the original. That successfully brings it up to date. From a technical perspective, while leaving the original gameplay completely intact. That's a fantastic achievement, and I salute everyone involved. Hello. Oh no! Well, that was my own fault. Right. Do try not to kill anyone else. If that's alright with you. Come on over, it's perfectly safe. Promise. Please ignore the gun sight right over your face. Come in. being where I can't see him. Oh well, let's take a chance. Don't be an alien. Please don't be an alien. Please don't be an alien. Oh, I can see you. That's good. Ah, oh, thank you. Come in. Hello? What's that red dot? Interesting. What is that red dot? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, is that a turret? No, I don't think it was. Ow. Oh, the, the, sound, the sound for getting hit by lasers is perfect as well. Why is this game so perfect? Who else is shooting at me? You! And someone over here. Right. Where did all the pilots go? There's one. I wonder what that red dot was then. Oh well. Fingers crossed this isn't an alien because it's dark so I can't see his helmet very well. That looks white.
good. Come in, please. Oh, who is shooting at me now? You, get out of here. I can't see, it's too dark. And this ship doesn't have headlights. That seems like an important omission. But you didn't have headlights in the original either, so, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. I can't see the pilot. I'm genuinely nervous. <sighs> oh, I can't see anything. Get me out of this hell hole. There's someone. Hold up. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Oh, I think I think the red thing was like a turret or an alien or something because I just sort of saw a guy passed on the scanner. So this is an alien. Nice. So to to deal with aliens, uh, you just switch your systems on, which switches your. Um, Basically switches your shield. It's literally completely pitch black now. I cannot see a thing. <laughs> I see. That's what they... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's what the clock is for, and that is why the little screen in the middle is quite helpful. All right. We are literally flying blind here. Okay. The alien didn't make me jump. The alien didn't make me jump. Um, but I think that was because I was expecting him. Also, it was really dark, so we couldn't really see him. Once there's some actual sunlight again. Oh, God. Wall. 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 Ow! <laughs> this is suddenly got much harder. Yeah, this this nighttime stuff is a really interesting addition, actually. Meaning you have to navigate completely by your instruments. Oh, there's another. No, don't let him in. Blow him up. Sun's about to rise again. This is not going great. <laughs> We're all right, though. It's fine. So, for future reference, the first time aliens appear in Rescue and Fractalus is level six. It's a human! Right? Yes, come in. Please, come in. May as well go and get this one over here as well. Unless it's another... Oh, there's two. Two more. So many pilots. And surely only a couple of them will be aliens. It's when you can't see them approaching or you can't see the colour of their helmet that it's troublesome. He looks human. Come in, please. Alright, one more. Oh, sweet light. Sweet daylight. Oh, 
I like that. Ow. I like that the the day on Fractalus is shorter than twenty four hours. They've they've bothered to to think of. Ow. Maybe. Maybe we deal with the turret before. I take that pilot. Right. Now we land. Watch this be an alien now. No, it's a pilot. So we've only seen the aliens in the dark. Oh no, alien ship! Fuck! What? Uh, shit! What do we do? He was an alien. He was disguised. How do you? How do you? Shit! Uh oh. Uh oh. I got negative energy. Is it going to let me get back to the mothership? I can't believe that was an alien. Harsh. I think we may have found a slight glitch there. I clearly should have been exploded. <laughs> With that negative energy rating. Oh dear. Uh, right. We have reached a stressful part of the game, as you can see. Right, let's let's try and be a bit more careful. Okay, so it looks like the day starts about three o'clock. Right, I'm definitely waiting for a knock before we uh, before we let anyone in this time. Is that was seriously unpleasant when he got in the ship? Uh, right. Onward. Love this game. I absolutely love this game. I'm so happy that this remake has turned out well. And I'm surprised I hadn't... And maybe I had heard of it, but because it's been... Because it's been on the go for so long. Because it was ten years in development. Maybe I'd just, I just forgotten about it, but... I'm so glad that it turned out well. Right, everything has been going relatively smoothly so far. I may have just cursed myself because I can't see the pilot. There he is, get out of here. I saw that coming. Ow! Oops. I panicked, alright? It's fine. I can handle the the pressure of a rescue mission. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine, even though the sun is setting and it's going to get really dark in a minute. Get out of here.
Come on, I'm ready for you. You alien? Alien! This is the first time where you could sort of actually clearly see the, the green helmet there, I think. Ooh. That was close. Okay, so it gets dark about 7 o'clock from the look of things. That's where we really need to start being careful. Especially when we can't see the pilots approaching. Ah, oh, nice to see a human face. Don't like night time. It's scary and there's aliens hiding in it. Also, I can't see the walls. <laughs> to go. Ow! We are reduced to flying on instruments again. Keep an eye on that middle screen. Yeah, I really like the fact that, that middle screen just looks like the Atari 8-bit version. Like it's, it's got like the perfect resolution, the perfect sort of aliasing on the lines. It's fantastic work. Alright, let me out of here. Right, onwards to new challenges. One nice thing about this version is that um, it will save your game, so you don't have to play like for ages in one sitting. Uh, so I think what we'll do, we'll make this the last mission that we do today, because now you've seen most of what Rescue and Fractus has has to offer. Uh, it just gets more difficult from here. So there's more enemies and more pilots to rescue, more likelihood of aliens and stuff like that so but at this point we've, we've encountered all of the core features unless they've snuck any sneaky new ones in uh, into this remake but I don't I don't think that was the intention behind the project the, the intention was to do from what I can make out anyway the intention was to do an authentic recreation of rescue on Fractus and by god they have succeeded magnificently absolutely magnificently this isn't a spectacular achievement. So, like I say, a very, a very sincere thank you and congratulations to everyone who was involved with this project because 
You have done one of my favourite childhood memories. Absolutely proud with this remake. I'm really, really happy about this. Ominous creeping shadow on the right. Alright, two out of six. It's going suspiciously smoothly so far. Still going suspiciously smoothly. I'm concerned. Oh, look at the lighting on the panel. So lovely. Ow! 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 Knocked me completely off course as well. I can't tell where I am now. <laughs> um. Hello? There you are. Oh, reaching the dark air again. I suppose there's nothing stopping you just flying around until it gets light again. But, you know, there's, there's something oddly fun about navigating your way through these canyons when it's pitch black. Take your time. Feel that tension. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Stop it. Alright, bring me some pilots, if you please. somewhere around here anyway. I can't see you, so I'm going to trust you on this one. Good. Right. We're done here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm super happy with this. Absolute magic. Like I say, Rescue on Francis is, is one of my most treasured childhood memories of video gaming. And I'm incredibly happy that this does it justice. It's obvious that it's put together by someone who loves the original, understands the original, knows what made it special. 
and has successfully managed to recreate that experience with modern technology so fantastic round of applause absolute round of applause so uh, I'll be playing this a lot more in my free time you can bet on that for now though I'll just say as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time <laughs>